Uh, it's an incredible series, leaving millions of viewers on the edge of their seats, including ourselves. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I watched it last night, loved it. In just a moment, we're going to be chatting to Sue Johnston, one of the stars of the new hit prison, prison drama, yeah, Time, uh, very soon. If you haven't managed to see it, here is what you're missing out on. Take a look. Brilliant. Uh, Sue Johnston, who plays June, is joining us right now. Good morning, morning Sue. Sue. Morning. Oh, we're so disappointed. Morning. We thought he was in the studio today. I was like, oh, I wanted to meet Sue in real life. Yeah, we want the real one right oh. here with us. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm working at the minute and I just get a day off. So oh, I've come thought, home. I'm not getting in that car and go down to London on my day. <laughs> Quite right too, Sue. <laughs> well, thank you, for <laughs> thank you for sharing your day with us today, which is lovely. Um, I tuned in last night uh, on the iPlayer time it's absolutely brilliant your character is june cobden uh, tell us a little bit, bit about her because it's her son first of all i don't think you looked old enough to be playing sean bean's <laughs> mom to be fair but tell me a little bit about june well to be honest i am old enough to be sean's mother uh in real terms um so that's let's put that one to bed mm -hmm. i actually am physically old enough to have given birth to him um <laughs> But my cat, well, she's just an ordinary middle class uh, woman who leads a very ordinary life with her, and a happy one with her uh, teacher's son and his uh, wife and the grandchildren, and life's ordinary. She's obviously a bit worried about his drinking, which can go a bit awry, but then, of course, this happens and it throws everything up in the air. Yeah. Um, that she has to then deal with the horrors of prison life and how it will affect her son, who she obviously loves. I, I kept thinking, oh, gosh, if my son went to prison, it would just... I'd be terrified every minute, yeah, knowing so. the reality of how it is inside a prison. So what, an um, what an incredible show to be part of. And obviously you've worked with Jimmy McGovern so many times before, and when you, know, when you hear that you know, he's written the part for you, you must, well, where do I sign, I guess, because it's so, you know, he's such a great writer. But um, in terms of the series itself, personally, what I took from it was, it's kind of there by the grace of God, because, you know, Sean Bean plays your son, it, it, like you said, he's, he makes a terrible mistake and his drinking's out of control. But, um, yes. but it's a kind of there by the grace of God, it could happen to anyone, and suddenly he's just a normal guy who's in prison. And, and you know, what, what did you take from the series? Well, I, I took, I took from the, it took from the writing, which is very powerful, and it's Jimmy, so you know it's going to be brilliant. Um, but I, because you could, it's like any of us who were suddenly thrust into prison. We, he's our eyes in a way, Sean, because he's a very mild man and uh, not a not used to this life. We were able to live it through him in a way just do, do you see what i mean yeah. um because we all have our idea of i mean i've worked in prisons quite a lot but and and uh, i know a bit about what it's like but a lot of people have this attitude that you know oh it's a holiday camp and they shouldn't have phone they shouldn't have this but it's not it's it's frightening and horrendous and it's a different different world and I think that we just, because he's such a sensitive and ordinary man, what happens is just awful, is you awful. know. Um, there's that great line that your character I, I, has. I uh, sorry, there's a great sorry? line your character has. Your great line that your character has when she says, you're in here as a punishment, not for it, which I think is such yes. an important message. A, a total message, yes, because you see him, it, for me, what I got out of it when I read it and watched it was the claustrophobia of it all, yeah. of being trapped and who do you go to? Who do you, you have to find a way of living that life. There's nowhere to hide and there's nowhere to run. You're in this cell and this atmosphere with, and you've got, you've got to almost <laughs> protect yourself and you don't know who to side with. You don't know who to trust. You, it, it, it's just a nightmare, and I think that, that that's portrayed very well. And then in the Stephen Graham uh, character, you can see as well how 
things can be used against them and, and also both of them having their sons and the defense of their sons. Um, it's, it is, it's just, it, well, powerful and frightening. And I, I just feel sometimes that there should be a lot of reforms in prison. I feel that there's a lot we could do that could be a lot better for and, the people who are inside prisons. And um, and in terms of, I mean, you work with some greats and you're great yourself, obviously, but you, working with Sean again and David, uh, you know, uh, David Calder, Stephen Graham, I mean, you, you must have been licking your lips when you saw that cast. I certainly was. Um, I, yes. Jimmy McGovern is my favourite writer in the world. I, he can do no wrong in my eyes, um, as well as being a Liverpool supporter, of course. <laughs> um, I had to get that one in, Dermot. Um, and, um, and same with Stephen Graham. And I, I love uh, Sean's work too. And all, I mean, there wasn't... And also, uh, David Calder, I must mention, who plays my husband, he... Uh, we go back to the 80s in theatre, um, so it was great to work with him again, but there isn't any, there isn't a weak link in the whole ensemble, and that's exactly what it was. It was an ensemble, and we, you know, some of those guys when when they're kicking off, is so frightening, and then they go cut, and there's all these really jolly young lads, <laughs> <laughs> and you think, oh, I can't get my head around this. It's actually quite <laughs> traumatic to watch it as well. Yeah. It, it really is just watching, watching it. It's it's so traumatic. But yeah. I can't. We could speak to you all day, Sue, because we've run out of time. I'm absolutely devastated. Oh. But it's on Sunday, 9 p.m. BBC One. It's also on iPlayer. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Lovely off. to see you. Oh, bye you bye. too. You yeah, too. Bye.